Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you that that is going to be a general reading for Capricorn star sign and for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but, and as well I'm going to try to give you a few examples just to make my points across but at the end uh, you will have to align that situation uh, with that reading excuse me with your personal situation as uh, just like I'm doing for the examples in this video for maximum accuracy now if you want me to do that for you or to analyze your situation through uh, through tarot and to give you a prediction uh, for the future that is a subject of a, a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and so what we have for you here Capricorns is that you are going to uh, discover a traitor or a sabotage or something like this I mean, uh, uh, these cards are pointing that a, a person uh, you trusted is uh, somewhat going to uh, unfortunately betray your trust. And uh, that is displayed here with these couple of cards. We do have the topic and we do have the, uh, the challenges uh, which are causing predicaments. And uh, unfortunately, uh, these cards are as well a, an active friend, which means that uh, you should, throughout this month, uh, you should um, trust on your healthy sense of mistrust as well. And uh, one hint I want to tell you here, you have to be very careful whom you are sharing secrets with, all right? Because these cards as well are pointing that your secrets may leak to the ears that you would less um, likely or you most likely don't want to kind of like uh, hear your secrets. So uh, with the first card, which is the Tree of Swords, we definitely, we obviously have a, a something um, that will, let's say, make you feel bad is going to happen three of swords it's kind of like a a pain and that pain comes from from words most likely it comes from um betrayed trust as well now the thing with the three of swords you know is that uh, this pain that that you capricorns are to experience disappointment as well you know that is going to be most likely a painful disappointment it's because uh you know you have placed the great hopes at that guy or that girl, that person in general and they betray that trust and you are probably blaming yourself the, the, uh, the biggest portion what I'm trying to say here of the pain that you are to experience throughout the month is because self of self blame how could you uh, let that ha let let that to happen how could you you know uh, not be able to foresee who what that person stands for in reality the tree of swords is accompanied by uh the six of um, the six of cups so you definitely have a history with that person you know not from a couple of years but maybe uh for a uh, decade all right and um, uh, unfortunately you are going to uh, find out throughout this month that that person is not what you thought they are and uh, as i said that will severely hurt your feelings now important thing with the tree of swords here is, is that uh, you have to overcome the pain by experiencing this pain now the thing with the tree of swords is that after this painful process is done uh, you are going to become much more stronger and you will learn how to place your trust with less um, with lesser risk if i may express myself uh, that way Additionally, Tree of uh, Swords speaks for mental cruelty and uh, many people ask me what mental cruelty is. Well, that is when... Um, how can I place it? Well, I would try to say it that way. So, 
someone may say to someone else that they are uh, with mental disabilities or they can say that this person is retarded saying retarded well that is a mental cruelty it's kind of like words which are meant to hurt you right even though they are true they are said in such a way that to inflict to inflict a, a maximum emotional damage so um, <clears throat> if you experience such kind of um, such kind of events that someone is uh, kind of like exerting a mental cruelty against you it's uh, it's important at that time to be objective about yourself and to know that these people are severely exaggerating but yet the tree of swords this month is going to be a month of sobriety for you guys I mean you will after that month ends you will uh, kind of like carefully uh, how can I place it? Recruit new friends at your behalf and before you recruit your new friends uh, you will kind of like put those friends uh, on test or kind of like under testing but definitely you need to warm yourself to coat yourself very warm throughout the month because you are going to experience hostility. How you can cope with it? Knights of uh, Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. So important thing here is to uh, redirect your focus instead of uh, this, instead toward that situation which is quite poignant into something that truly have a meaning for you. Kind of like for example if uh, you know you find out that your partner is cheating on you well then then this card takes this combination here it re it's, it is referring that you have to focus entirely on your career so you can keep your mind occupied with something else basically what these cards here are pointing is that you need to focus uh, entirely upon um, fields in your life that you that you can actually alter the outcome from uh, and by you doing so it's kind of like this is going to diminish here the poignancy that you are to uh, that you are ha that you will have to endure um, on based on the interaction with this person that you trusted and unfortunately well they betrayed your trust all right and as i said you do have a history with that uh, with that person not for for a year or two but for a uh, most likely decade so uh, these cards are pointing that you need to the more simple you you keep your things or rather like your more the more simple enterprises you are attend to uh, the better here you don't have to uh, make your life harder than it needs to be all right and you need to start from the small things right so let's say that uh, this poignancy and in a time of despondency it's your it, it is your it is in your relationship focusing on your career with um, kind of like a frantic performance it's only going to trans transfer the uh, the despondency from your relationship into your career right so instead you need to take your time all right instead you need to make your plan instead you need to uh, systemize your priorities and start from the smallest one so you need to keep the things simple important as well is that you need to have the right determination I mean if you don't have a determination behind your actions then most likely this isn't the thing that you need to attend at that specific moment in in generally you have to uh, you have to redirect your efforts and your mind and uh, uh, basically your devotion into a um, into a field of your life that uh, it's it's really worth something at that specific moment <clears throat> and you can actually uh, make a progress at as well trying to fix this position here you know that's uh, despondency is only going to make you feeling even more despondent right uh, so uh, for example, if your partner cheated on you, uh, thinking constantly about it, it's not going to solve the problem at all. Obviously, you do have a choice to forgive or not to forgive, right? 
but constantly thinking about it again is not going to solve that problem so if you cannot make up your mind right now should you forgive or not it is best to focus your mind into something else until uh, until you decide out of nowhere because usually these decisions are coming you know spontaneously so you have to wait for a spontaneous decision or spontaneous resolution one way or another however once you heal yourself from these wounds here that you are going to uh, uh, have inflicted upon you uh, you will become uh, you will be a, a much stronger person right so this is something that you need to experience this is a lesson that you need to learn that you should not give your um, your trust lightly to people and you will always have to uh, scale facts against what you know to be true because sometimes fictions are presenting are are present, presenting themselves as facts as well and the third card which is uh, pointing to the challenges which are causing predicaments here we do have that person which is the core of the problem now this person is the one that inflicts that damage or this wounds upon you why it is because they think that they are better than you they think that they are bigger than you they think that when they do that to you they would simply get away with it and you will still run back to them and ask them for their forgiveness while they are the one who have to forgive uh, they while they are the one who needs to beg for forgiveness and basically they think that um you know they control your life and they can do whatever they want and uh, as I said get away with it because the king of wands is someone with a very high opinion for themselves they are very ambitious and they think that everybody around them are maggots all right and they are uh, beings that are ex expendable all right with uh, especially with that specific position here that specific combo uh, now this is a, a combination for psychopaths people that have zero value for the life around them they think that they are the most important they think that their problems are the most important things they think that their opinion is uh, the uh, the the best opinion ever or rather like the most accurate opinion they think that their points of view it is the ultimate points of view and uh, they disregard everything but themselves their personal needs and in general their personal satisfactions as well so it will be a shame if you allow yourself to suffer for such a person even if that happens to be your husband or your wife or your father or mother as well you know or your brother or a sister or even a co-worker and etc etc that, that could be anyone uh, in your environment everybody every one of us have a such a person in their environment and unfortunately for you Capricorn that person is going to reveal themselves and uh, it's gonna hit you I mean it's gonna it's gonna catch you off guard but that doesn't mean that you will not be able to recover quickly all right and uh, as I said you will be able to recover quickly if you redirect you know your efforts and your attitude toward a, a field that you can actually exert control and feels that things actually depend on you following thought with the uh, four of swords which is the guidance that Saro is offering to you and the chariot card we do have a, a passive neutrals here oh, no excuse me these are passive enemies so what these cards here are pointing is that because even though you are feeling here uh, kind of like hurt you know and betrayed and etc etc that doesn't that this doesn't mean that you need to uh, kind of like act frantically this guidance is all about you consulting yourself with uh, with the right people before you actually make a decision and especially if we're talking about this person before you make a decision you need to consult yourself for example you found out that your partner is cheating on you and they are not finding anything wrong with it you know it is because let's say that they make an argument that uh, they don't find you attractive anymore or they don't love you anymore and etc etc and they are finding it completely uh, completely normal to uh, to cheat on you and of course the first thing if in case you are married you know you may decide to file for a divorce 
Well, even though that may be the right thing to do, it will be a good thing to consult yourself with lawyers before you actually do so. Because the lawyer is going to give you sound advice and they're going to prepare your paperwork and etc. etc. And generally they are going to offer you the support and they will tell you how you should do it accurately, how you should do it right, instead of prematurely, you know, um, filling up the blank on your own and uh, deposing it and etc etc and afterwards finding that you could have uh, basically demand for more or uh, you could you you could have exit from that divorce with a, a much bigger benefits so it's important not to rush your decisions here how you should take on this problem that you are going to have all right but before that to uh, ask for opinions your friends your family uh, a professional opinion as well like psychotherapist if this is a uh, too much for you to bear all right i mean that could that could devastate more emotional Capricorns, all right, and uh, definitely consulting yourself with a psychotherapist or psychologist, excuse me, is going to be an inaccurate approach, a guidance here from Tarot, so you can ease your mind, you kind of validate for yourself that um, this was not your fault, because it's important here with this reading to recognize that that was not your fault. This would have happened one way or another, and better sooner than later in your case, all right? And uh, the most important thing with these cards, all right, is not to lose uh, hope into the human nature, into the human being. Just because one person betrayed you, it doesn't mean that everybody around you is a traitor, right? So uh, that, that's why you need to maintain communication with faithful companions, with loyal people. And uh, at that time, when this person reveals itself to you, you will already know or Basically, it will become clear to you who is loyal and who isn't. And by the way, uh, if I have to uh, make a guess here or make an interpretation how this person is going to reveal themselves, it's most likely you will... Uh, it will come to your knowledge that someone from your good friend of yours is plotting behind your back and they are uh, spreading... Um, fallacious uh, fallacious rumors as well basically uh things which are untrue um on your address or uh, or addressing you that are severely going to damage your reputation and from there you know things are going to happen or if this is about cheating uh, most likely you are going to um figure it out through gossip that it is coming uh, to your ear and finally, what we do have, this is going to be the five of wands. That will be the final outcome. And here we are seeing you regaining back control upon your life. Now with the five of wands, at the end of the day, uh, you uh, I cannot say that you are entirely healed here, but what we are seeing is a determination to take on life back again. It's kind of because the uh, five of wands, it kind of says a couple of things. The first thing that five of wands says is that you will start looking at uh, at your life from a, a different angle here. It's kind of like um, adopting different strategy of how you should cope with the situation or with the situations in generally in your life, especially if they are connected with people. And also it does point to a sudden around turns and a lot of surprises and in, co in combination in conjunction here with the Emperor it does speak that you will uh, be able or rather like you will be determined to take control on those um, around turns and those surprises pleasant surprises for that matter which are going to happen so it's kind of like the sense of life will sparkle with you once again and uh, excitement and determination is going to uh, plant their seeds once again so if this is about uh, cheating once again all right even though you may filed in the divorce this is not going to be a prerequisite for you not to seek love once again but based on these couple of cards as a matter of fact these couple of cards at the end are pointing that your uh, recovery is going to be quite swift and uh, as soon as you kind of like um, recover to a certain extent, uh, you are going to find out that now you have more control upon your life than ever before and uh, that you can cope 
with the ups and downs of life and of your situations, career or relationship wise, with much more ease than ever uh, before. So it's kind of like a necessary experience here. Sometimes a person needs to fall so they can stand up and they can realize that they are much stronger than they, uh, than they thought they are. And this is unfortunately what is going to happen with you. But looking at it from the bright side, Capricorns, at least at the end of the day here, at the end of the month of February, uh, you will regain control upon a positions that this person here had occupied until this very moment, until they don't reveal themselves to you. So that being said, this was your monthly tarot reading for February 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for Capricorn star sign. And for that reason, I, in this video, um, tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But ultimately, at the end, you are going to have to align that, that reading with your personal situation, just like I did for the few examples uh, in this video. Now, if you want uh, your situation to be analyzed by me through Taro and to give you a, a prediction for its future, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.